sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Welcome back, guys, to the show. <laughs> I'm already a bit excited for this and also scared because my last Madonna video, you know, you guys just loved it so much. It did so well. And um, I've seen the comments and there's a lot of them. <laughs> And you guys really want me to do this album and do Madonna justice. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're doing Madonna's Confessions on a Dance Floor album. Look, I'm not going to lie, the comments in the last video were a bit much, considering it was just my opinion on an album. And here's the thing, if you don't like it, get the fuck over it. I don't really care if you agree with my opinion or not. I'm not here to get any people on my side. I'm not here to persuade people. I'm simply here to react to it because I like to watch reaction videos and I think they're really fun. That's why I'm doing it. So yeah, we're gonna do Confessions on a Dance Floor by Madonna. This came out in 2005 and we're gonna start with Hung Up. Oh, of course I know this song. I just forgot what it was called. Again, horrible with the titles. This is a classic, isn't it? It really is. This is one of those songs that just still holds up after 15 years after it's come out. People still listen to this when they go out. Like, it's just a tune. It's a classic, you know? So slowly. I feel like it's a fair, very fair statement to say that Hung Up is just a killer song. Facts. It is. Alright, now go get together. Dance? I feel like, is this like a dance pop uh, album? That's the assumption I'm making. We'll see if it lives up. No, it's sorry. Sono spiacente. Okay, build up, build up, build up. Oh! Oh, I know this! I like it. It's a vibe. I know the chorus, but I didn't recognize this song before. Yeah, I fucked with it. Sorry, it was really good. It was fun. It was like a little bop. Now we got future lovers. in the album. I'm gonna tell you about love. Okay. Let's She's good at dance pop, like she really is. Oh, I feel like this song is in a Devil Wears Prada. Yeah, I think it is. That's where I know it from. Now we got I Love New York. New York. Not my favorite, but I don't not like it. Like, it's cute. It's a little bit too similar to the other ones for it to like stand out for me, but I still liked it. Now we've got Let It Will Be. Does that make sense? Let It Will Be. Oh. I fucked with this. I vibe with it. It's fun. I'm like pleasantly surprised with this so far. Like I didn't expect it to be this good. I know Madonna has a heap of good songs and albums, but I think because the last one I did, I just really didn't like it and it wasn't what I was expecting. So I'm like, I'm like pleasantly surprised, I think. I really like this. I think it's all good. Now we got Forbidden Love. Not bad, not bad. It's like, I feel like some of the other songs this album are a bit better and they outshine this one quite a bit, but it's still good. Now we got Jump. Oh! I know this one too! I feel like this music for like, it came out in 2005, which is, I was five when this came out. That's crazy to think about. And again, the songs hold up 15 years later, they're still being played, like, 
that's really sick. To be an artist that like releases music and 15 to 20 years later it's still being played and people know it like I knew it. Now we got How High. Okay. I think How High is one of my favorites off the album. Just a good fucking vibe, you know, just a good mm, mm, mm. just a good dance, just a good little wiggle. Now we got Isaac. Okay, what is this? I'm like scared almost. I don't know what's coming. Mm. Now we got push. Oh. Okay, Madonna. Oh, it's a tune. This is a tune. This is my favorite now. What a vibe. I'm honestly vibing my ass off over here and I love it. It's such a cool song. Now we got Like It or Not. Ooh. Okay. Her voice sounds so good in this song. It sounds so cool and like, I don't know how to describe it, but it sounds like she's in like a room. Right, that's what I picture in my head. She's in a room and she's sitting there and she's by herself, four walls. She's sitting on a chair and she's like, and she's wearing headphones and she's like so into it. Her eyes are shut and no one else is in the room to disrupt her and she's focusing so hard on singing. That's just my imagination running. Oh, you know, that's not facts. That's just me going, let's make up a narrative of how she sung this because it sounds that deep. Mm, I love it. This is why I love music because it makes you think, it makes you feel, it makes you think about different things and oh, it's the best. Push and Like It or Not are my two favourites, I reckon, from the whole album. Yeah, I think so. Apart from like the singles, of course, they're like the two that really, mmm, hit me, you know? Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please comment below what albums you want to see me react to because I'm running out of ideas. It's getting hard. But yeah, let me know in the comments any albums you guys have in mind that I can react to and I'll happily do it. I'll see you fuckers later. Ah.